So, a lot has been going on over the last few days. The Jared Lysak situation, Adventures with Purpose, and Doug Bishop finally breaking silence. But look, I think we now sit on a knife edge, and this is very, very serious, because I think we're now standing in a position where we could well be looking at the end of Adventures with Purpose as we know it. And I know that a lot of people will argue that and say, no, look, they've got the support, they've got the backing. But now we've heard what Doug himself has said and sort of speaking on behalf of the team as well, it would appear that their future is a lot more precarious than perhaps people are understanding at this stage. But I do think that the Kylie Rodney case, and in particular the tow truck interview, is now kind of a very integral part of what is happening to Adventures with Purpose. It is being stated by many, many people that perhaps Jared knew that this was coming and he utilised the Kylie Rodney case as a way to obtain money, resource to fight potential charges that were coming into him. And this tow truck situation has become a focus. We're seeing that Jared and Adventures with Purpose, the tow truck incident, has been attacked by the likes of Jagger Westfall. Um, I hear that Jagger himself is now attacking Adventures with Purpose again, and obviously he has been made aware of the situation with Jared and is going for the throw. And some will say, quite rightly so, look, there was a situation surrounding this tow truck incident that seemingly meant that Adventures with Purpose pointed the finger directly at Jagger and said, look, this is potentially who we're seeing here. They didn't say that. There is an argument that, you know, they said what they said based on what Nick, the tow truck driver, said, and then a lot of people ran with it, and they sort of speculated off of that information. They certainly didn't say Jagger. They certainly didn't say anything of the sort. But there is argument that perhaps the insinuation was there. But what if Jared Lysak had formulated a plan to obtain someone who would come forward and do an interview? Because that's what people are saying. Is that really what happened? I'm hearing that another channel um, is going to be providing information. It would appear that they may have been speaking to Nick and there may indeed be more information coming from this guy. Now, is this information that could yet again break the Kylie Rodney case wide open? Because this situation, this tow truck interview the adventures of a purpose originally said that they only showed 10 percent of that information and the rest would have us shocked and in disbelief it has remained elusive we've not seen it we've been told that it's potentially been tied up behind a legal wall but look people can go and ask them these people the questions and see what they have to say and what would nick have to say You have to now make a decision. Do you believe that Adventures with Purpose, in particular Jared Lysak, would go as far as to make a fictional character appear in a video and say that he had potentially seen Kylie after she is believed to have been, and corroborated by the fire cam footage, deceased? Or did he have a conversation, communication with someone else, and it wasn't in fact Kylie? But then you could argue, look, the vehicle, the vehicle, if we're to believe the fire cam footage, was in the water at 12.34 a.m. There's still a lot of questions. Is this about to be blown open because we're going to see that Nick did indeed have involvement in this case and it was to do with the Kylie Rodney case? Or are we about to see the final nail 
whacked into the lid of the AWP coffin. Watch this space. There's information coming, and as soon as I have it, you'll have it. I'll catch you all in the next one.